Hey guys, welcome back to the Indie Homestead channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the leaf vac and some of the frequently asked questions that I've gotten here on the channel or just information that you may want to know before attempting to build this project. You may be wondering how the vacuum has performed and held up over the last couple of years. And honestly, there have been no issues so far. I've had to do hardly any maintenance whatsoever other than just, you know, yearly maintenance such as changing the filter and oil changes for the engine. But other than that, it's not needed any actual maintenance. I've been using it the last couple of seasons, I guess it's three seasons now, for collecting leaves to put over the garden and for compost. I know the aspect of just collecting leaves is a huge draw to most people, but honestly, the amount of green and brown material that this machine can accumulate is incredible. It just is a powerhouse. And if you were a person that's looking to kickstart their compost pile, you can accumulate such a large amount of biomass with this thing. It's really astounding. I've had a couple people ask me how strong the vacuum is. I finally got an MMA meter which measures the wind velocity and I've got readings between 70 to 75, sometimes peaking at 80 miles per hour on the intake, which roughly equates anywhere between 4,800 to 5,200 CFM or cubic feet per minute. As for how many leaves it can hold, I'm not entirely sure. The bed of the trailer measures three feet by three feet by three and a half feet, which is 32 cubic feet. And you can pretty much fill the bed all the way to the top. Um, I try not to let it get that far because I don't want to put undue stress on the motor. But the more that you put in the bed, the more the leaves and whatever material you're collecting compresses down. So it's hard to gauge an actual volume or an actual weight of leaves being collected. But it, yeah, it's, it's a lot. As for convenience of using the machine, um, the machine is heavy. It's about 50 pounds or so. So it's not incredibly easy to mount onto the trailer. But once up there, the vacuum just has two bolts that attaches it to the trailer. And then all you have to do is connect the hose to the intake of the vacuum and then to the mower adapter. So overall it takes five minutes or so, not long at all. Completing the whole project, it's hard to gauge how long it took. It was spread over several months, I think. And I had to take breaks here and there, but the total working time on the project was probably a couple weeks. And as far as parts for the build, the impeller itself I bought off of eBay, but you can find similar or the exact same thing off of Amazon or any other sort of lawn equipment or part distributor company online. It's not difficult to find. And as far as the engine, it's just a push lawnmower engine, which I found off of, I think it was Facebook Marketplace for 80 bucks or so. And if we're talking just for total cost of the vacuum alone, the engine was 80 bucks, the impeller was $90 or so, and you just have the cost of raw materials like plywood, sheet metal, and then hardware. So overall, pretty cheap to make given how well it performs. As for the future with this machine, there are a couple things that I do want to fix or upgrade on it. The throttle mechanism, which had a dead man switch for the push mower, I haven't adapted that yet. I honestly am just using a piece of aluminum tape to keep the throttle engaged, which is not the most aesthetically pleasing, but it does the job for now. And then the other thing is the arm that's holding up the hose. That was just kind of tacked on last minute and looks bad and could function much better had I put a little bit more time into it. So those are areas of improvement here in the future. And as far as future uses go, once I get my hay cutting machine in place, I'm going to adapt the leaf vac to also collect hay. And the goal will be to collect the hay without, you know, chopping it up too much. So I don't know how it'll turn out, but I'm interested to see what it'll look like here in the future. Great, now I've got the whole family doing the yard work for me. <laughs> <laughs>